It was helping to fight human trafficking. Um, and then when I came back to New York, a place where I, for some reason, I was young, I didn't think it existed. Um, and uh, Save the Children told me about a great organization called Empath. Um, and we're going to have one of the, um, we're going to have Carol come and speak um, about it. And uh, first, Emma's going to say some more about it. Human trafficking is actually an issue that exists a lot in New York and how much it affects so many people and how uh, a lot of the majority of people that are trafficked are actually children and women and this organization especially helps children in New York and they do a lot of stuff with like um, like laws and teaching people how to notice human trafficking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you USA, the organization that is the recipient of all of your generosity today, so I thank you all for coming. It's the third year in a row that the McGinn's family has put this on, and it's wonderful. I uh, just want to tell you a little bit about what we do and then what you can do. Before I came up here, one of the McGinn sisters warned me to not go too long, so I'm scared now, so I'm not gonna. We're all scared of the McGinn sisters. All right, we work with the travel industry well, to make sure that they know how to identify a sexually exploited child and what to do when they see it. And we do that because research shows that about 50% of the sexually exploited kids in New York City were exploited in a hotel. We work with federal legislators and policy makers to change laws because up until 2000 it wasn't against the law to do human trafficking in the United States. And even more recently than that, it was legal in most states, in fact it still is in some states, to arrest a child of 11 years old for having been bought and sold in the sex trade. Yeah. We're working to change that. And we work in New York City schools so that every kid knows